Hello and welcome back to Hip. So we would very much like to become, well, the Basilius. However, this is proving to be more difficult than we first imagined. But we're getting we're getting there. We're getting there. So first things first, are we in line to be in charge? No. Okay, I'm currently voting for me. Nobody else is voting for me. That's an issue. We would need that to happen. So we need to be crowned. Uh, have we called for a crown? No, we need to wait a little bit. I think that'll probably help us in terms of being able to get people to vote for us. Well, it only gives us vassal opinion, but I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. And I think I'm going to unpause, let our, arm, our retinue armies merge together, and we'll see what we can do here. Uh, my liege, as you know that, as you no doubt well know, I and those of your vassals who support my faction are your loyal supporters. Oh, nice. What faction is this? Uh, tradition faction. Oh, nice. Well, thanks for the money. Uh, we'll probably get a coronation with that eventually. Crusade for Jerusalem. Oh, God. I still haven't read that message properly about the, why we didn't get the crusade thing. I apologize again. Uh, so I actually don't know why we didn't get it previously. So I'm not going to go and make a... Uh, like, I'm not going to go and make an effort to join this crusade. I'm just going to stay out of it. Basilius declared the Byzantine War to make Primera a uh, tributary state. Okay, interesting. Do you have any factions we can get that are going to be useful to us? No, not really. Um, yeah, not really. We're not in line to any of that or anything, I don't think. Uh, what's the chances of killing him? Actually fairly high. Yeah, sure, let's kill the Basilius. Why would we not just keep killing him until we get uh, in charge? I don't understand. Makes a lot of sense to just keep killing him. Pope likes us. Good, good. Basilius has appointed us as his advisor. Definitely, yes. People are joining factions. We never have a dangerous faction against us. What's the dangerous faction? It is a... Um... Oh. That guy for our land faction. Nah, it's not gonna pass. Fine. I'm not gonna give anything up for Zen, or Zini, or however you say it. That has a weird looking face. Right, she must learn on her own. Fine. Right. Gonna basically wait for our plot to fire. Council support, that's no. Child needs an education, let's give you a duty education. Now the reason I really, really wanna get charged, because even though we may not get anything with elective. Like, if we get it, if we get in charge of, Byz of Byzantine Empire, we may die, and then we can't change the succession or anything. The reason why I want to get in charge, because I think it will give. A, I believe that when we die, it will then give our children claim onto the Byzantine Empire, and we can then do interesting things. With it. So I think that's where it is. Anyway, I could be wrong. Uh, I rule, so you're not getting the land. Okay. Why are they? Are they really that strong? We're almost at max strength, aren't we? Our vassals are giving us pretty much nothing. Did we not have a lot more at one point? Uh, it's because we haven't had the coronation, of course. We'll have the coronation and that'll... Oh, coronation's cheaper now. Weird. Uh, sure, my kinsman is offering to do it. I guess I'll say yes. Fine. We inherited this guy's land. Or his previous land. Um, where, where is it exactly? It's in here. Okay, so we'll uh, create a new vassal. That's absolutely fine. Wait, we have land. Wait, wait, what extra land did we have? Oh, we must have done this. We must have died just as the episode ended. And I never actually sorted out the land that we used to hold. That's why the vassals dislike us. Ah, right. It's because we're over our domain. And that's why nobody's voting for us. Because we're over our domain. It all makes sense now. So that's a Theb that we can give away. Uh, let's give that to uh, Ernesto. Give him the... Um, we're we'll given that theme of uh, Duxlia, or however you say that. Right. And then uh, we have a court chaplain spot open now. We're in that guy. This one is part of the theme of this, which I also have. And we'll give that to my family member, whichever one next. Uh, we have a non. Uh, wanna. Open that nephew's. I explore. Hmm. 
I'm not really trying to do that. I'm trying to open it up without clicking on them. There must be a way of doing it. If I do give... Um, there'll be one of these that has a... Yeah, there's his face on it, right? So now I can close. Doesn't actually work. Okay, that's fine. There's got to be a way of, of getting it to show up on the side without us having to uh, click on them and reassign who our heir is. But we'll just go around like this. Bartaco. Let's grant him the... Right, Spartaco, grant him. We'll want to check that we're getting to give them the right land. That land. Right, we're now one over. We have Fondy still. Fondy can be given to... Uh, Adamo. Can we give him... Uh, that one, right? Yeah. Good. We still have roughly the... Actually, we have, we're a little bit weaker, but our vassals are much stronger. The creation and coronation. Uh, we have been crowned and we have a chance of getting humble or losing humble. And we lost humble. Okay. And now being crowned is great because it means our diplomacy goes up and all our vassals like us more. And now these factions shouldn't be quite as dangerous. Coronation. We have a bunch of people who arrive, people who refuse to come. That's okay. Somebody drank too much. We became close friends with someone else. Somebody else drank too much. Okay, um, so we can either try and become patient or try and become wrath. Uh, patient. We didn't get it. Okay. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, good. It's all over. Get some prestige. Need a new court chaplain. It's going to be Julio. He's going to go and improve relations with the Pope. And we also need a new commander. New commanders are going to be Ivano. Adam and Aldo. Does the Pope like me? No. Not really. Oh, he's a wicked priest and a crusader. Interesting. Right. Um, people are usurping different titles from different family members. That's okay. We're well over our retinue cap, but that's also fine. After 50 years under the Byzantine Empire, the despot of Illyric of Illyr Rickham is no longer considered part, does your part of somewhere else. Okay, that's fine. Oh, it would be the empire of nothing. Ah, so that's what this does your empire, which is just nothing, is. I think. Wait. Or, like, yeah, when it said that we were does your part of, no like, when it says over here, does your part of nothing, it's saying that there is not a does your empire. Is there a way of doing that? That's weird. Okay. Byzantine Empire? Wait. Why can we not... Are we not already voting for ourselves? Of course. Wait, who's in charge now? Still this guy. Okay. Uh... We can possibly get a bit more plot power. Going over 200 is well worth it. Going over 250 with this guy is very, very much worth it. Over 300? Uh... He thinks the Lord Rank Vassal should serve him directly. This guy thinks that my brother should serve... Uh, no. No, definitely not. Right. This plot should fire instantly, by the way. At any moment. Should fire. Are we next in line yet? We are. We're very much next in line. Fantastic. This plot needs to fire, though. 319% plot power. is pretty much as high as you're ever going to get. I mean, we can get some more people in it, I suppose. Like, there's a few people who we can get in for, like, 15 gold. Or one more. Which is maybe worth it. I'm not sure. Chancellor, um... Yeah, definitely him. Fine. And... Again, saying no to that one. Can we get the Byzantine Empire yet? Uh, we owe someone a favor. Or, yeah, they owe us a favor. Never mind. Fine. Uh, 362% war, uh, not war power, plot power. Uh, uh, there we go, right. He's hired somebody to, my co-conspirator has hired somebody to sit, uh, saw through the supports of the railing on the balcony that he's known to frequent. Okay. And, success, the Basilius fell to the ground, and, Emperor Marigo is now the Byzantine Emperor. 
Oh yeah. Look at that. That is an Emperor level title. We're also going to succeed in our mission. Our successor. We're going to nominate to be. Uh, who's the successor for the Croatia? It's uh, Ernesto. Okay, so we'll choose the same person. Ernesto. Ernesto will now be next in line. Or at least we'll try and make him. We can usurp this uh, duchy. From... Which is... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We already hold all of it. We will lose the Byzantine Empire on succession. It's also saying we'll lose all these duchies as well. I uh, doubt it. Doubt it. Fine. Uh, well, I don't know if we will or not. Oh, because it's our... It's our capital duchy. Maybe we will lose it? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Right. Well, we need a new council. Chancellor's going to be that guy. Fine. Our marshal's going to be this guy. Steward's going to be um, that one. And collect taxes in our capital, which I guess is over here for the time being. It's fine. My master's going to be this guy who actually quite likes me. And court chaplain's going to be Gino. Going to improve relations with our... Uh, actually, you could probably start um, converting, couldn't you? Yeah, why don't you start converting Constantinople for me? It's fine. Right, we also need a despot, whatever that title is. Going to be my uh, nephew. Interesting, it can only be held by a close relative, I guess. Then advisor is going to be uh, this guy who will always vote with me. Yeah, that seems good. Right, for succession law changes in the Byzantine Empire, I would like to change it to Tanistry or Primogenitor. We have to rule for 10 years. No vassal needs to be fighting. And no count or higher tier of vassal of this title has negative opinion of you. Okay. Same for that one, except we would need to have high crown authority. Uh, are we in a position to do Primogenitor? No. We're not in any position to do primogenitor, so we'd have to switch to Tanistry. Which is fine. Uh, any other laws we want to change? No, I think we're okay. Hmm. Alright, so. It's survived 10 years. We've got family focus, gives us plus one health. That's a good start. We have to survive to be 54. Um. Yeah. Who doesn't like me? Let's start with that. It's probably the best position to be in. This guy does not like me. Why do you not like me? Broken betrothal. I broke a betrothal? I don't even remember. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll send you a gift for 16 opinion. And then I'll also award you the honorary... And uh, probably not that one. I don't know. We'll, we'll stay in church. We'll just leave that for just now. Short rain penalty will go away. Hopefully it would like us in time. Right, do we need to be crowned? Or oh, we can claim Constantinople. That seems like a good one. I don't need to kill that guy anymore. Because he's already dead. Yeah. And we fulfilled our ambition to become emperor. Um, Mend the Great Schism is definitely one that is tempting at some point to do as well. And restore the Roman Empire now exists. Nice. Look at that. Grand Tourney seems like a good idea. Good way to make a lot of money. We're also going to claim Constantinople. Because we can. Yeah. That's now mine. Did that make him dislike me? Usurp title. Yes, it did. But now we have Constantinople. Is this now my capital? No. Do I want it to be my capital? 23, 22, 24? It is a better province. It is the best province in the game as well. Yeah, we'll make it our capital. We'll also um, make it our crown focus. That's fine. New ambition. Um, survive until 54. Pledge peace to my vassals actually sounds amazing. Yeah. Because that makes them like us more, I think. Okay. We're good. Now we just have to wait 10 years, and then we can have the Byzantine Empire. Okay. That's good. People are joining factions. Are the factions good? We have some independence ones. We have some prosperity ones. 
We have a glory faction that's fairly large. Okay. It's fine. Uh, I want, do I have auto stop plots on? I should. Yeah, definitely do have that on there. What do we need for the Great Schism? So we need religious authority to be high, which is good. We need to completely control the county of Constantinople. And the bishopric needs to follow the Catholic religion. Okay, we need to fix that. Uh, oh, one of these must be true. So one of any of those. Wait, and then we're done. Then we have it. Wait, one of these... Oh, no, we have to convert all of these ones below. I see. Um, I think. Yeah, I, okay. Either we need to control Antioch, uh, Constantinople, Jerusalem, Alexandria. Uh, okay. And have a bunch of piety. Or we need to be orthodox and uh, hold Rome. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, no, or nobody needs to follow the Orthodox religion. That's it. Yeah, so no independent independent ruler is Orthodox. That would also work. And, and then we and then Rome was controlled by and the, and Constantinople, Constantinople is controlled. Okay. So that's fine. That's fine. We we have people who are Orthodox, so that's not going to work. Oh yeah, the top part we can do. Okay, interesting. Uh, lower Imperial Decay has ruled for five years. Okay. Fine. Uh, is Imperial Decay... Imperial Reconquest Tier 1. Grants a CB on the core Imperial lands. Oh, nice. That's kind of cool. And then we also have, like, this Imperial Decay thing. Empire is a hard thing to keep together, be reduced by being coronated, crown authority, realm is overthrown by an eternal revolt, holding tourney tournaments, okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's unpause, let things go. Nice, uh, what's that? That's, betrothed can marry, these two people can marry. Sure, that's fine. Yeah, arrange marriage between... Yeah, except so that we're going to get a decline message in a second. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to watch from the stands. No way am I competing. Your Imperial Majesty, I'm pleased to invite you to my forthcoming coronation. That's Hungary has invited me, but I'm busy right now. To be honest, I'm not quite certain how my time at the Grand Tournament went. At some point, drinks were pressed into my hands. There was much merriment and laughing. It all became blurred. Uh, when it was over for a few mornings uh, later, I felt terrible and the hair of the dog seemed like the answer. I'm now drunkard. That lowers my health. That's bad. I don't want to be a drunkard. Please remove that from me. Technological advancement? Um, well, here we want tolerance, definitely. Yeah. And we also want military organization. Uh, trade practices don't really matter. One of the highlights of the melee was watching uh, these two people trade blows for 10 minutes. Okay, sure. And then again, there's a rebel uprising, which we actually have to deal with. Okay, sure. Everyone at the Grand Tournament is disappointed to hear of the outbreak of war. Oh. That's bad. I also can't get rid of the message. Uh, I didn't mean to hit quick save, but I guess we'll do that. What I actually meant to do was hit save. If I can't get rid of the message... Wait, what well, we could try... It's kind of lagging a little bit. Let's press enter. No. Nah. So that message has no way out. Uh, I guess I'm going to resign. Okay. Quit to the menu. And we will load it up again. Okay. Okay. Right. We will continue our latest save. Hopefully the message should still be there and we should be able to click through it. In theory. Uh, you see how much is lagging? Whenever I... There we go, it worked. I guess the message just lagged. I'm going to quick save again. A little bit odd that the game's performing quite so badly. Okay. Where's the revolt? Oh, it's down south. Okay. Uh, let's raise our vassal levies and then get rid of any who aren't relevant, like those ones. 
and these ones. Oh, uh, there we go. And probably like that. Uh, that one. Perfect. Merge up down here with our 10,000 troops. And get rid of that person. Right. Uh, Protector General Atwan Setuk of the Western Protectorate has decreed that the fury of heaven shall rain down upon Kanjochi of the Mongol Empire. Okay. Sure. China versus the Mongols. Uh, I'm. China has 100,000. Pretty much. Okay, well... You know, that'll, that'll be the end of one of them, probably. I'd imagine. Cag uh, the Sardinian person is invited me to Cagliari for a uh, coronation. However, I am once again busy. Aldo was a trickster. Okay. The kidnappers overpowered me and made sure I could not call for help by stuffing a filthy rag into my mouth. Luckily, they did not get far away with me. Duke Phil... Latrios at the second and the guards managed to free me and capture them. That's bad. Who's trying to kidnap me? We don't know. Well, that's just awful. I need a better spy master, unfortunately. Um, I might search for a spy master. Uh, will join court is in diplo range. Um, invite you because I think well we'll invite a couple but I think we're gonna put in the person who actually likes us slightly yeah okay we'll go for that nice 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 okay I'm gonna replace you with um, the old Prussian it's fine he will now scheme and hopefully you'll find these plots a little bit more efficiently Really, what I'm going for. Although it might have just been a, um, it might have been a, a, what's it called? A focus that did that to us. People of the Mongol Empire probably never knew why the great emperor chose to attack Kanjochi. Regardless, they've suffered a crushing defeat. And uh, the Juchin armies are journeying home to celebrate the, as the victory has finally been declared. The Tang Empire won a war. Okay. So Jochi's still going. I do I do like how it looks like he controls the entire right hand side of the world with Siberia as well. Interesting. You know what? Don't need those guys. They can uh, get disbanded. Merge up. Make sure we have leaders who can fight, which I think we do. Right, and then attack in. Somebody usurped a barony in a county. Okay. I mean, dinner party, and they would like me to join the, uh, yeah, join Satan's whatever. What's it called? Uh, it's called Lucifer's Own, that's it. Right. We now hopefully assault this back down, and we didn't get 100%. This must not be a, this is not a revolt war. I mean, it is a revolt war, but I mean, literally, it's not a revolt war, because revolt wars, the enemy only get to fight once. Yeah, sure, the ecumenical patriarch can be my uh, designated regent. I'm sure you'll have my best interests at heart. Right. Any of these plots uh, coming up? Not yet. Right, catch him. Kill him. That should be the end of him. People are converting to Catholic. Right. In offer peace and force demands. We've taken that. Disband. I would very much like you to come back underneath me. I'll offer you vassalization. You're going to say no, because I'm a foreign religion. That's okay. Uh, we are also being at peace, so we'll continue being at peace. Okay. How old are we now? 45. We've made it one year. Wait, was that a name for us? Now known as the Latin. Oh, wow. We're going for complex names. Uh, what will we lose on succession? Uh, just the king- wait, we'll lose the kingdom of Croatia. Wait, does that mean that one of ours is in charge of- Wait, one of ours is in line for elective on the Byzantine, but not in line for Croatia. Wait, am I not voting for this guy? Oh no, I want to vote for Ernesto. Now get this out of here, Ernesto. Definitely. I love that this guy's next in line, though. That is fantastic, because he's only 17. 
though we actually have a backup plan right now. Yeah, we're doing very well. Uh, we have an we have slow fever in our realm. Okay, I do like the stacking flags as well. You don't often get to see that. Grand tourney, let's hold one. Right. Hope it doesn't lag out the game again. Oh, and I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.